Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to play greatest and latest Android games on my PC and I'm going to go over the best Android emulator on your PC. Let's get started. If you ever play a game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare or PUBG on your Android phone and you close to the top 10 and got killed and no chance to win chicken dinner so you can comprehend how people can aim so quickly and so well. You may think they are very skillful players but most of them actually emulating the game on a PC and using a mouse and keyboard for controls. Maybe your Android phone is out of date and you can run the latest and greatest games. So if you want to emulate Android on a Windows PC, I would recommend you to download the Bluestat apps on your PC. Bluestat is undoubtedly one of the best Android emulators that you can find on Windows. The company claims that the Bluestat is 6 times more powerful than standard Android phones out there. So all in all, if you are looking for an overall best Android emulator for PC, then Bluestat surely comes at the top. So before you download and install Bluestat, you need to make sure that Virtualization is enabled. So open Test Manager by pressing Ctrl or D at the same time. Then go click on Performance Session. Look down to the bottom of the screen. You can check your PC virtualization enabled or not. My PC is already enabled. But if your PC is not yet enabled, you need to restart your computer and another BIOS or just to make sure that the virtualization is enabled. And you can see right here, it is showing an enable. If you're using a different motherboard for example like Gigabyte or an MSI or something like that, your BIOS will look different in your configuration. But at the end of the day, you just made sure that virtualization is enabled on your chip. And make safe and easy it up. To get Bluestep, all you have to do is go to the website bluestep.com and download it. Then open download session and install it. As you run the installer, you can see it is the total of 392 MB. Now once you install Bluestest and have it running, then go to Play Store and sign in with Google Play. I recommend signing in with whatever email you want to. So once you sign in and ready to go, you can try immediately running apps and installing apps. Now you can download any app from Google Play Store and have them running on Bluestest. So now I'm going to try to download Call of Duty Mobile on Plus Test. Now its size is 3.34 GB. It may take a little longer with the with my internet connection. All right, so I have the Call of Duty app I'm running. Now you can sign up with your Facebook or Gmail to play Call of Duty. I'm going to sign up with my email. Then it's going to ask your creator name. After that, it will take you to training session and you can start playing the game. And you can see right away on the screen all of these little dots. But if it makes you annoy while you play in the game, you can make those dots disappear. If you want to get rid of all of these little dots on the screen to show where the controls are, it's pretty simple. You just go over to this game and control here. Click on to get the game control and they disappear. Alright? So right now everything is gonna dead. I'm using my mouse to control my screen and I'm using WASD in order to move backwards, forwards, left and right. So obviously I have an unfair advantage against these people. Because I'm playing with mouse and keyboard right now. Which is a lot easier than using a touch screen and just like that. I got the winning kill round. I got the MVP of the round as well. Because I'm using mouse and keyboard giving me a majorly unfair advantage. But anyways, that's all I got for today. So if you like my video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you for everyone.